So being that you've worked on so many Grammy award winnings or nominated and just massive hits, can you tell when a song comes on, you know, you get sent the song from any artist, you're like, this is going to be a hit or can is it still sometimes surprise you the way the music industry works? So, um, a lot of times, like if I work with like a, a decent artist or like I just, you know, like somebody who's famous or whatever, and they bring me the single, I can say like right away, oh my God, this is going to be massive. This is just amazing. And like, this is going to be big. But I mean, I've worked with people where I'm like, this is the worst record ever. <laughs> and it goes to number one for like, I can't tell you how long, uh -huh. you know, like, you, like I can't always tell, but I think I, now at this point in my life, I have a pretty good barometer for, for what's going to be a hit. Uh-huh. What, what, uh, what do you typically see as a hit? Like, what are some of those tracks? Uh, not, not specific tracks, but what are some of those features on a track? It's just like, um, lyrically, if like I get, if all of a sudden I'm working and I get lost in the lyrics and I'm like finding myself like emotionally attached to what they're saying, like for me, that's a dead giveaway. You know, like it could be anybody. Like I remember working on a Halsey record one time, you know, and do I look like a Halsey fan? No, <laughs> but like lyrically this one record this song sorry just had me like you know like i was like caught up in it mm -hmm. you know that's so fascinating it, yeah it's just you know like uh, you know as a music fan you still listen to this stuff and you know you you know if it um, if it hits you emotionally that's like a good sign you know 100 percent. and being that you've worked on, as your career your career has gone i'm curious have you how, how have you, if you have, uh, dealt with the increased pressure of like, okay, I know I'm working on a Halsey track. I know this is going on the radio. Is there an increased level of pressure, you know, that you feel because it's such a big artist rather than something that might not be heard because it's some indie artist or, and how did, if so, how did you deal with that? No, I mean, I always feel pressure working with like big artists because I want to make them happy. You know, this is a service industry and they're coming mm. to me to do a service that there is no like... There's no room for error. There's no like, oh, maybe I had a bad day. Like you really have to focus on what you're doing and try and give them the best record. And if, you know, if I work with somebody, you know, like a big mixer, like I'll just say Serban or Manny or Tony Maserati or Josh Goodwin, any of those guys, like I know the mix is going to be really good. And if I work with like somebody I've never heard of that's getting their first chance to work with a big artist, I'm worried about what they're going to tell me in it with feedback. And if the I've worked with big artists where the record just didn't sound good for, mm -hmm. it had nothing to do with the mixer. It had to do with the production and the artist's new direction and things like that. And, you know, you get worried that like, man, this isn't like what I was expecting, you know, or, you know, like it's not as good as I thought it was going to be. And I, I really need to like put something extra into this to get it to sound good. <laughs> no, so, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the pressure never goes away. With <laughs> How do you manage it though? You just kind of push through it. Is there anything you tell yeah, yourself? I mean, yeah. I mean, I've worked with Madonna a bunch of times and she's come in and it's like it's Madonna, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> there is no, like you never get old, you know, like there's artists that come in here and there's never a point where you're like, Oh, whatever, you know, it's, <laughs> yeah. you know so yeah. and so or whatever. It's like, they're big artists. They're like international artists that have sold millions and millions of records. And there are people standing outside in the street waiting for them to come outside. And you're kind of like, damn, you know, like, yeah, you know.